Hi there everyone, meteorologist Robert Spetta here with you on today, the 13th of September 2013. I know all week we have been saying the likely development of Tropical Storm Mun Lee. Well, now we have it this morning right around the uh, 21 UTC update from the Japan Meteorological Agency. Uh, well, uh, Tropical Storm Mun Lee formed here just towards the northwest of Guam, towards the south of the Ogasara Islands. Well, right now, it's a very broad and monsoonal type of gyre system, but it is wrapping up rather decently. Winds about 35, gusting up to 45 knots. The Japan Meteorological Agency, well, uh, one thing about the intensity of this forecast, well, it does look like they're going to keep it as a severe tropical storm. JTWC expects it to become a typhoon, on the other hand, before making landfall. Well, look at that directly over the Yokosuka Naval Base. That's one of their long-range forecasts, and, well, uh, they do expect to become a typhoon before hitting land here, there, around uh, the Chiba Prefecture, even over there towards Kanagawa Prefecture, during the overnight hours from Sunday going into Monday. Now, I want to address something while I have this up here. It does look like this storm is going to be pulling off there towards the north. I noticed a lot of the people out of Okinawa, uh, you guys are really getting upset because I said that the storm and the cone of air all week was likely going to be somewhere from Tokyo down there towards the southern Japanese islands. And actually, starting on Wednesday and Thursday, I was saying that the scenario uh, was most likely going to happen was around the key peninsula over towards Shikoku. So these people actually should be kind of annoyed that uh, the forecast was a little bit off of from their direction. So that's why I always put these cones of air in. And when I say from one area to the other, it's because there is uncertainty in the track. Main reason this time is that we have this upper level trough digging in here and this high pressure ridge over here towards the east. And it all depended on how much that ridge was going to work its way in and if it was going to keep the storm down there towards the south. And even if it did, we've been saying all week, it probably would linger here, then weaken out and push down there towards the southwest. So I'm a little surprised that people are surprised it's pulling off there towards the north. Um, just remember when we say this cone of air, it's a big spread. And when we say uh, from Okinawa to Tokyo, that really means quite that. And right now it looks like it's going to be heading there towards the uh, Tokyo area. So just something to keep in mind in the future. You're not going to get a beyond five-day forecast from anybody else because most agencies, uh, they don't want to issue beyond five days uh here at westernpacificweather.com trying to give you a first look a first heads up and well actually we were one of the first people to go against the models and say the storm was going to turn towards the north possibly and that's one reason why i had those two different scenarios up here all week most of the models pulling south and then they started shifting there towards the north with that upper level trough digging in cold surge also bringing in some cold air across northeastern china and mongolia actually ulaanbaatar and harbin you're going to be seeing well below freezing temperatures here going into saturday and with that cold surge swooping in well it does look like it's really going to grab this storm pull it off there towards the north i myself myself might even head out there towards kanagawa prefecture south of tokyo to try to get ahead of this storm going into monday morning so something to watch out for might get some good footage out of this area but by that time it's likely going to be going extra tropical what i mean by that uh by the time it gets out here towards the coastline it's not going to be this tight organized uh storm it's going to be picking up its pace but it's also going to be still having these well fairly gusty winds and i do think of some pretty heavy rainfall across much of the tokyo metropolitan area with the possibility of even some localized flood. as our storm mun lee continues to barrel off here towards the north now let's look ahead into saturday here using the gfs model outlook and when like what i said um you can really see the storm system and that center of circulation becoming rather elongated now, this storm actually this model did quite bust on pulling the storm farther towards the south and it still actually is kind of picking up on that on the southern edge of the uh, outliers of the models here may basically pushing out there towards the uh, key peninsula one thing I, I do think though it is going to be a little bit farther here towards the east but in general this is exactly what's going to be happening just push it a little bit farther towards the east you're going to be seeing these gusty winds come on shore here away from the center of circulation out there towards the Hantel peninsula much of Chiba prefecture winds coming offshores but still pretty gusty and even some funneling effect there around the inland sea and also japan's uh, sea of japan coast you're going to be seeing some pretty gusty winds as well and possibly up to gale force strength and tropical storm strength the heaviest of the rainfall should remain on the eastern periphery of the storm given the outlook at this time this is going to be getting picked up by that jet stream plus the high pressure air is going to be pushing in behind this much dry air so that's going to filter in so what we're going to be seeing is like i said this is getting wrapped up with the front you have that low there kind of a warm front is going to be wanting to develop here and a cold front is going to be wanting to develop there as this gets wrapped up here and starts to shoot off towards the north 
it's still going to have some wins, though, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, for the military there, actually in the Yakuska area, if you go through these T-Core levels. And if they don't, well, that would be rather surprising considering when the uh, storm, our last storm, actually pushed along the western periphery and it wasn't even a typhoon, they went to the storm watch out here. So uh, something just to note, I haven't seen anything been upgraded there, so please keep me informed if you are in any of the military bases. I always like to get that information back. As far as the heavy rainfall, though, and even the risk of uh, tornadoes, I know that we have the instability in the atmosphere, but you got to remember, we have that cold air diving in behind the system. This is actually looking at the European model, and what I want to do is I want to pull up the uh, 300 millibar jet stream because there's a pretty strong jet stream that is looping this off towards an orb. It's one thing just to say it, but it's another thing to show it here up to about 100 knots. So a lot of instability is going to be influxed into this storm. You have all this moisture coming in from the south. Where these are colliding is right in here. And I do think um, last week we saw Saitama and Koshigi uh, both get hit by well, one an F1 and the other one an F2 tornado. So um, yeah, the risk is there. And uh, just something don't be surprised about if you hear. I think the larger threat is still going to be just a sustained winds and the heavy rainfall, especially near the coastal areas where we could be seeing isolated pockets of these sustained typhoon strength winds. One other thing is that most of the models are in line with this churn towards the north. The nav gem, the no gaps model, uh, that's the only one that still keeps it towards the south, just weakens it out there near Shikoku and Kyushu. Still north of Okinawa, granted. Um, but yeah, that's the, the main thing with that. So really at this time, I, if you are in the Tokyo metro area or around the Kanto area, that's including Chiba down there towards the Hanto Peninsula. Um, just keep a very close eye on this. It does look like going in the Monday morning is going to be a rough one. Good news and actually quite um, a, a saver out here is that it is a holiday on Monday. So most people uh, in Japan, uh, excluding the military there, um, have the day off on Monday. So that is something that is some good news. You're not going to be seeing these sort of just rush hour uh, chaos out here that would have possibly happened if this was an actual work day. So some good news with that, but it is going to be some pretty gusty winds, heavy rainfall. While I have this model up in something, I know James Reynolds has been posting on the Facebook page this morning here on Friday morning, and uh, good news for him. Uh, it does look like he might get a chase in next week. It's because Munley, even though it is a relatively weaker typhoon, it does look like it's triggering up the western Pacific here. And one storm after another in the long range looks like northern Taiwan, somewhere around Miyakojima and Ishigaki, you could be hit by a rather intense storm system. Also enhancing the monsoon, so we could be seeing uh, some flooding there across the Philippines, especially along the west coast. So it's a very similar outcome there with Solik, if you remember, about two months ago. So that is a scenario that is possible and it does look like most models are in agreement with this, with something forming in Munley's wake and pulling dough off there towards the west. That high-pressure ridge will be in place. That troughing will start to jet off there towards northeast, so it doesn't look like anything would pick this up as well. That was my Adobe saving. So, um, yeah, something to keep an eye on. Thanks for watching, though, everybody. Please let me know. I know yesterday I asked a very similar question uh, about our long-range forecast and that cone affair. Let me know if I was misleading and if you thought that that at any point uh, we said that Okinawa was definitely going to be getting hit because I don't think at any point we actually said that was going to happen. But um, please let me know if there's any adjustments we can make to tr stronger stress in the long range, the big air that is popped with these tropical systems because we're in the business of making, well, life easier for all of you, not just across Japan, in the Philippines, uh, much of Southeastern Asia, Western Pacific weather, we cover everything out here. So a lot of stuff to talk about. Stay safe out there, everybody. Thanks for watching.